Are you still using a mouse and keyboard to edit your photos in Adobe Lightroom? Well, if you are, you're not only making the process harder for yourself, you're also making it a lot slower than it needs to be. Whilst a keyboard and mouse is good for typing up a Word document, when it comes to photo editing, they're about as much use as an underwater barbecue. But do not worry because in this video I'm going to be showing you a completely new way to photo edit and it's also going to revolutionise the way that you use Adobe Lightroom. It's time to ditch the mouse and keyboard for something completely new. And here it is. Now this is called a toolbox and even if you think you know what a toolbox is, make sure you stick around because with their latest model they have revolutionised the way you edit photos in Adobe Lightroom. And yep, it will blow your mind. Now don't worry if you don't know what a toolbox is, let me give you a brief explanation. So basically it's a controller that speeds up the process of photo and video editing. It offers much more precise control over a standard keyboard and mouse, and unlike a keyboard where all the keys are uniform, the switches, dials and wheels on the toolbox are all unique. You can connect the toolbox to your PC, Mac, laptop or even your iPad. It can be wired to your devices or you can use the onboard Bluetooth. It uses its own software called the Toolbox Console and you can pretty much link any piece of software to your Toolbox controller using this software. We'll be showing you more of the controller and software later in the video. So the toolbox is a controller made up of different buttons and dials, all to speed up the process of editing photos and videos and also make it more precise. But how exactly is this controller going to revolutionise the way you edit your photos in Adobe Lightroom? Let me show you. Anybody that's used Adobe Lightroom before will instantly recognise this piece of software. That's because it is in fact Adobe Lightroom. In the centre of the screen is our photo that's being developed or edited. And on the right hand side we have all our tabs with all our tools and adjustment sliders. But now let's switch over from the classic Lightroom to what Toolbox calls their dynamic panel. And yet we've now switched over to Toolbox's dynamic panel. We're still editing in Adobe Lightroom. As you can see, the classic layout of Lightroom has now been completely changed. Instead of all the tools being off to the right hand side and our photo being in the center of the screen roughly half of its size, we're now able to edit our image full screen with Toolbox's dynamic paneling. Simply by pressing one of the buttons on our controller, changes the tool that we're currently using on screen. Yep, it's really as simple as that. By pressing a different button on our controller, changes the tool panel that we're working with. And unlike a traditional computer mouse, which is often used to adjust the sliders in Lightroom, which anyone who's tried this will tell you that it's not precise at all, we now get to adjust them sliders using a very precise dial on the toolbox. You also get haptic vibration feedback from the toolbox when adjusting any of the settings. So now you have a basic understanding of the toolbox and its dynamic panel. Let me run you through how I begin to edit my photos in Lightroom using the dynamic panel, explaining exactly what's going on as I'm progressing. So we've loaded up our photo into Lightroom Classic just as we normally would and the first thing we're going to do is change the view into full screen mode. The first thing you're probably going to notice is that we've got this cross on the screen which is also known as a HUD and this represents the directional buttons on our toolbox controller. It's there as a visual way to remind us which directional buttons to press on the toolbox controller to load up that panel of tools. I always start with white balance, so I'm going to press upwards. This now loads up our white balance sliders, and we get to adjust these by rotating the center dial. And to change between sliders, we rotate the wheel on the controller. So that's the white balance set. Let's change over now to our tone panel. 
and we can see on the HUD that to bring up our tone panel we have to press on the downwards directional button. And just like that the dynamic panel opens up. We can now adjust any of these sliders in the tone panel by rotating that center dial on the controller. And if we need to switch between the sliders, we simply rotate the wheel. And now the final panel that I like to open up to get my workflow going is the presence. So let's press left on our directional buttons to open up that panel. And again, we're going to go through each of the adjustment sliders, adjusting them how we see fit by using the center dial and the rotation wheel to move sliders. Now you're probably thinking to yourself that there's more than four tool panels in Lightroom and you are correct. So how do we open up the rest of them? Well, that's super easy to do. All you have to do is hold down the top button on the toolbox controller and then you'll notice that the HUD changes and it gives you four more options. And again, we can select any of these options by clicking on the corresponding directional pad. It's also worth me mentioning that the Toolbox controller is completely customizable to our own needs. If you want different tools to open up with different buttons, you can set this all in the Toolbox software. Or if you want to try how other people have set up their Toolbox, you can download their presets from the Toolbox website. Now my favorite tool to use in Lightroom with the Toolbox is the color grading panel. Let me show you why. So we've already got open our color panel and at the top of it, we've got all the different colors. Beneath this, we've got the hue, saturation and luminance sliders. And it's just so much easier than using the classic Lightroom color mixer. We're able to switch between the hue, saturation, luminance and different colors just with a swipe of the wheel and a rotation of the dial. For anyone that really loves color grading their photos just like me, then the full view dynamic panel by Toolbox is absolutely essential. This feature alone is worth the price of the controller. Remembering also that at any moment you can switch back to the standard Lightroom. So that's the Toolbox and its brand new feature, which is the dynamic panel for Lightroom. Now the Toolbox comes in four different models, the Toolbox Lite, the Toolbox Neo, the Toolbox Elite, and this one here, the Toolbox Elite Plus. Now whilst I've shown you it working with Adobe Lightroom and its new dynamic panel feature, remember that this controller works with any editing software. I use mine with Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, After Effects, Capture One, Affinity Photo, Luminar, to name just a few. And I have the Toolbox set up with custom presets for each of them programs. So if you're someone that does any type of editing, then I highly recommend the Toolbox. I'll leave links to their website down below in the description and also in the top pinned comment so make sure you go check them out. Now if you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see further videos from myself please hit that subscribe button down below and we'll catch up in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.